Good evening, friends. I'm back. If you watched my earlier video of my mother-in-law's famous chicken casserole, this is going to pair fantastic with it. So, listen. Y'all don't want to eat your vegetables. You got to eat these vegetables because they're swimming in butter and brown sugar. So, if you're going to take some green beans, these are the green beans to take. The recipe calls it cracked green beans. I don't like to call it that. I don't know why. It's just, mm. I just like to call it baked green beans. So inside my 9x13, I have five cans of drained green beans. To that, I'm going to add, um, it says 12 slices of bacon. There went away. It's uh, 9.15 at night. I just gone from work. There's no way I'm going to fry bacon tonight. So what I did was I brought home some of my bacon from the pizza shop. So fry your 12 slices of bacon, chop it up, and you're going to add that on top of your green beans. This is actually real bacon that we use at the pizza shop so I cheated and brought it home because like I said I am not frying bacon at 9 15 at night I'm making this up if you did not watch my other video which you should I'm taking this tomorrow to my aunt's house for a Christmas gathering so every meal you y'all know you gotta have a vegetable even if it's this okay so there we go we've got the equivalent of what I would think on my hillbilly hot says it's 12 slices of bacon. Okay, so we've got uh, two thirds of brown sugar. Ooh, probably won't be eating these for my blood sugar. Okay, and then it's a quarter cup of butter, give or take. I'm gonna see if I might need more. We're gonna add that in. And the recipe calls for seven teaspoons of soy, or no, yeah, two. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. Okay, so this is why you don't really add any salt to this recipe because you have your soy sauce. Okay, and it also calls for one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder. Okay, sorry, I'm getting a little slap happy. I'm tired, tired, and I haven't sit down since I've been home from work, and my legs hurt, and I ready to go to bed. Okay, so I'm not going to measure. If you're a cook, you could eyeball it. Okay, so we go and we're going to mix this up. Okay. Maybe I can get it mixed up. And I just want to see... So you're going to bake it uncovered for 40 minutes at 350 degrees and then you're going to stir it before you serve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bake it and then when I get to my aunt's house I will stir all of this deliciousness in. Okay. Now this seems pretty thick to me so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more of my melted butter. What I really want to know is who's going to come do my dishes. Because, whoo, I got a lot of dishes. Between that chicken casserole and this, that's the thing about cooking alone. No sous chef to come and do your dishes. So, probably going to have to wait and do them in the morning. Because I do not want to do dishes tonight. I had a busy night at the pizza shop. And I'm ready to put my pajamas on and sit my booty down okay we go it's this is this is quick simple it's delicious I've made these before and taken them to family get-togethers so you're gonna pour that delicious brown sugar but I didn't say this was low calorie I'm sorry I did not say that there we go this is something that you're gonna have once a year so it's like a pecan pie and green beans mixed together and they have a friend and they all got together and they hung out with some bacon okay there we go look at that I'm gonna cover this I'm gonna put it in my fridge and um, like I said I'm gonna bake it tomorrow 40 minutes 350 degrees so I can bake my chicken casserole in this at the same time, I'll put one in my toaster oven and one in my oven. That's it, guys. I'm going to go put my pajamas on, and I'm going to sit down, and I'm going to hit the hay before too long. All right. Merry Christmas.
Hope this helps you with some of your easy um, casseroles that you could take or have for a family dinner. That's um, super simple. And super delicious. All right, guys. Have a good night.